Hi everyone, good morning. It is 9.30 a.m. in Brisbane and I'm going to be showing you why I put certain plants or you know certain things that I do in my balcony. As a recap from my last video, uh, I have a north facing garden and a south facing garden. So let's go take a look at why I do what I do. Alright, so let's go. So in this spot where I have my seedlings over here, uh, it doesn't get direct sunlight in this spot, so therefore it is very good uh, to sprout seeds because if seeds have any much, you know, like too hot, they don't like it, uh, too cold, they don't like it. So being in a corner, um, they, you know, generally are quite insulated from the temperature fluctuations. Why my orchids are in this spot was because previously when I put my orchids at that spot, okay, where this corner the planter is, it all got burnt and dehydrated very quickly in summer. So I move them here and they do much better. How do you know whether an orchid is happy? Is when it's got green shoots, roots, you know, not shoots, but green sprouting um, root tips. That means that they're actively growing with chlorophyll. So as you can see, the, the, their leaves are nice and thick. Okay, this is the Arachnis Uh Some are still not doing very fantastically well, but they started as pretty poor cuttings. And so yeah, this is a new plant. Uh, I'm going to just try put this insects here. It's almost finished. Um, the story with my Tan Che Yen is really the key plant why I moved this here. This was in the corner. I can see that now, you know, that the leaves are pretty much open and, you know, stiff and turgid. Um, previously at the corner, it was all flat and shriveled and, you know, it was just not healthy. In Singapore, all the quarter turrets are very, very hard. So this is the best place. So, yeah, so that's why the vendors are, are all here. For my gingers, I just also, you know, Getting to know whether a plant likes sun or shade or what spot, it sometimes takes trial and error. So for this, it doesn't get much direct sunlight. So yeah, they can handle some shade. So see, this is now winter, so or it's coming to be winter, so gingers die off. Comfries. Having broad leaf, this is how you know whether a plant likes sun or shade. Yes, it's contrary to the, you know, Tan Che Yen, which has got skinny leaves. I always say, you know, plants with thin leaves like sun, but sometimes, you know, there is always an exception. So comfrey, when you put it in um, too much sun, it just burns. So that's where, that's why, you know, these are one of the few shade-loving plants uh, you can grow under the tree. So this stretch here, okay, this whole stretch where it ends with the uh, to the, the far end, actually it gets afternoon sun from about 2 o'clock, so that's why these chilies are here, but now it's, you know, winter or autumn, I'd say. Um, it's just, you know, not very happy. So actually a lot have gone to the plot or some have died. So this black chili is quite happy here. This was on the verge um, a couple of days ago before I moved them here and it seems quite happy. So this is the verge, okay, of my balcony. So as I explained, this is where it gets a lot of sun in the afternoon. So yeah, that's why you put them here to harden them off. So this is the corner where I grow all my mother plants that like shade. And um, that's exactly why uh, they are here. They get afternoon sun from about 2 p.m. And then um, the chilies are okay here. Uh, but then the catnip, or oh, see, I just put it up in a bigger pot. It used to be in a smaller pot. It's doing so much better. Mugwort has just taken off a bit of the weed. Um, some annual flowers, snapdragons. These are all my children's. <laughs> yes, getting them to try and plant something. This is the Guinea, New Guinea in patience. Um, what else is there? So, why is this random is joking sitting here. Well, number one, I wanted to have something that, you know, it can cling on to some structural support besides just the bamboo. You see, the bamboo is split already and needs a new stick, but it seems to be okay clinging onto the metal fence. 
So it's flowered a couple of times, so I'm quite happy to just, just leave it here. See? You see, it's just stuck onto the metal, which is quite rare. Usually, um, orchid roots don't like metal, so this place is pretty happy for it. So down here, this is the mosquito plant. Uh, it's very happy. So, you know, when plants are happy, you just don't move it, and that's why I did all the propagates in this spot. Damiana is a real pain. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to get more. So, this is just newly um, inserted into the pot a couple of days ago. So, this has been about, uh, about a month. So, it's starting to grow. Hopefully, it grows. Horseradish is a weird plant. Uh, because it doesn't like too much sun, doesn't like too much water. So I've killed one plant. This is the second plant that I have bought. Hopefully um, it will grow new pups for me. I think it is growing new pups. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to try and transfer this into the plot. So let it grow more and I can have something to eat. As you can see here, this is my north facing balcony. So all the plants that like sun, I just put them here. This is also the place for some of my, my mother plants so that you know, get as much sun to grow as big and you know, as fertile, or fertile but as fruitful as possible. So I shall not go much into detail because I did it in the last video. And um, yeah, all these, you no know, cacti, lavender, especially the lion's tail needs a lot of sun. Otherwise it gets spider mites. It had so much before. So that's why they are here. So let me recap on what I just shared with you on why I put certain plants in certain areas. It is because of the plant requirement. You have to match the plant requirement to you know, your growing area. So how do you know whether a plant likes sun or shade? Very simple. Number one, plants with narrow leaves, plants that have very hard leaves such as this vanda here, are uh, like sun because you know, it actually is climbing. This, this, this orchid is climbing up and reaching for the sky. So therefore, you know, I have narrow leaves to prevent the loss of water, which is very important. Plants need sunlight, need water, needs of course good ventilation and um, fertilizer. Yes, plants, though they can make their own food, they prefer to get fed as well. So yes, so therefore plants with skinny leaves like sun to prevent the loss of water. Next one. How do you know whether a plant likes shade? It's the opposite, okay? So it is, we have broad leaves. See this comfrey here? It's got broad leaf spots, size of my palm. So by doing that, you know that this plant, actually, in the wild, it is growing under the tree canopy. So that, you know, it can stretch out to capture as much sunlight as possible. So, you know, in Singapore, things like your pandan. People ask me, pandan sun or shade? Well, Actually, you can start off being in the shade, but they prefer sun because they're still quite hard, the, the leaf. But yeah, see, some plants are a bit versatile, so you've got to try and error. So don't be afraid to say, oh, you know, I'm a plant killer, uh, I can't do it. No, keep trying, okay? Change the spots. In Chinese, we call this, you know, feng shui, because you, you say that, oh, you know, the direction of wind and sun and stuff like that. Well, plants has it too. You need to understand, you know, your local environment to see what they like. Okay, so all the best. Good luck to growing your plants. Comment below on if you have any problems. And um, yes, see you next time.